sliding control in this room. It's been working with this Chelsea control here. We come in this room. I'm going to hit this first Chelsea button here. It's going to turn our four by two by four lights on for uh, four hours. But the rest of the lights in this room are going to be on for four hours also. But when we go to turn this off here, this Chelsea switch, and then I can turn it back on, it's only going to control the two by four lights. But the rest of these lights are going to be burning for four hours. They have to be shut off with the individual switch dimmers here. Uh, all these switches are going to be energized at 9 o'clock in the morning. So if, if somebody leaves these lights on at night, they're going to actually come on back on at 9 o'clock in the morning. And then at uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, they're going to shut off. And I'm going to take these lights down right now. All the lights on the side of the room are on. You can see these lights here on. And uh, they're pretty much going to stay on for the next four hours. Or since it's daytime, they'll be on until 5 o'clock this evening if nobody shuts them off. This is the blue box relay cabinet. I have a 12 by 12 by 4 inch deep junction box on the top so the neutrals can be made up from there. Come out of the panel, go to the 12 by 12 box, switch legs come down into the relay cabinet. Got the relays. These relays are all 30 amperes in here. I put these extra numbers on the relay themselves. You can see down in the corner there what the relay numbers are. These red lights seem mean that the uh, lights are off right now. All the other relays are energized and they're all playing right now. The bus which runs uh, incidentally a bus is just a piece of cable that connects uh, intelligent pieces of equipment together in, in a building. The bus in this case is a piece of Cat5 with RJ45 connectors. Uh, the bus runs uh, through the two Chelsea switches which I'm going to show you and into this control cabinet and it goes out of this control cabinet to, uh, to the master relay cabinet which I'm going to show you next and then to other Chelsea switches or other equipment which you might have in the building. This is the master relay panel where the control relay is where you can program this unit. I have a, uh, a schedule set up here. This is, this is how I make my schedule. What it says is we have uh, uh, what groups, what, well down here is the relays. We're using seven seven different relays in here and these groups tell the tell which relays to do what so on group number one I have the push buttons to turn on relay one two three and seven group number two is dust to dawn outside lights and that's relay four five and six and if we look down at four five and six we can see that they're ballards Never mind. Try this again. This is the master relay blue box. Uh, this is where you program everything from. Again, uh, I have the 12 by 12 box up here so I don't bring my neutrals into this cabinet. Not enough room in there. Uh, the bus, uh, which is Cat5 cable in this box here that doesn't have a cover on it yet, runs between all the other blue boxes on your job through Chelsea switches which are switches in the rooms like I started with and uh, any other devices that you want to hook into this this is my this is my schedule what's going on in here I have uh, each relay relay number one is the two by four lights on the east end and it's run by circuit uh, panel A2 relay two is uh, two by four lights and it's run by circuit A4 and on down the line we got sconce lights 
uh, on the walls. We got ballards outside along the walkway. We got outside lights on the building itself. And we got pergola lights, which are uh, on the outside in a, in a little setting. And then all the can lights. Can lights, incidentally, are on the generator backed up. And then up above here, I have all the groups and what they do to all these relays. Group number one says that the push buttons are going to turn on one, two, three, and seven. The dust to dawn lights outside are on group two. Dust to dawn relays are four, five, six. Down here you can see it four, five, and six is Ballard's outside lights in the pergola. What they're going to do is they're going to turn on a half hour before sunset and shut off a half hour after sunrise. Group number three keeps relays three and seven on for four hours after the buttons are pushed. That's the sconce lights and down on the bottom the can lights. If you go and you push that push those Chelsea switches in the room if you turn them on and then try to turn them off right away the 2x4 lights are going to shut off but the but relays 3 and 7 which is the sconce lights and the can lights are going to remain on for 4 hours group number 4 states that relays 1, 2, 3 and 7 are going to come on at 9 o'clock in the morning the relays and they're going to go off 5 p.m. Uh, now there's room switches it's going to shut the that's going to have the lights off but the relays in this box are going to be energized according to the group that I have stated on here group number five states that relays one, two, three, and seven are going to blink before going off so that you have time to go and push the push button to reset for the four hours. If you have to be if you happen to be in here after five o'clock in the evening doing something, you know, if you were in here at three o'clock in the morning, these lights are going to try to shut off and they're going to give you a warning with a couple blinks to give you enough time to go over and hit the Chelsea switch so that you can give yourself uh, another four hours. This is the uh, setup for this room. The Chelsea switch is this one here. I push this button, all the all the lights in the room, except the can lights are gonna, or except the two by fours are gonna go off. As you can see, we're not finished the job yet. Still got the ceiling open. This is a 15 foot high ceiling in here, folks. And this is uh, again, this is the uh, uh, the switch set up for the for this large room. And if I touch this bottom switch here, all my can lights are going to go off. All my can lights are going to be on. The two by fours are off, and I'm going to turn it back on. And uh, all my room lights remain on. But but when this thing is timed out, like at five o'clock in the evening. All these lights are automatically going to go off with a relay. Uh, that's a pretty neat system.